Hello vacuum fans! Today I'm going to be looking at what I hope is a new in the box Hoover Brush Vac model S1137. Now when I bought this the picture on the eBay listing showed a used machine with paint marks down the side and a dirty container but the listing specified it was brand new but said that the box it comes in might be a bit battered. So I thought I'll give it a go. I'll see, I mean, if I get, after it's been described as brand new, if it's used, then of course I've got eBay buyer protection. Now this, we only got two models of brush vac in the UK. This was the second model and the first one was the gray color. This was just a slight upgrade with a sort of smoked, uh, container so you could see through it smoked plastic um, but apart from that it's more or less the same just slight cosmetic changes so here's the box and yes the box is a little bit battered got some pictures on the back it also shows a toolkit which isn't included in here but I do have that toolkit that's even rarer than the machine in the UK but anyway, I've always liked the brush vac. I think they're a good little handheld cleaner with plenty of oomph about them. So let's see if this really is new in the box. Or have I been diddled as usual? Well, I don't get diddled all the time, do I? But you know, sometimes if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you do know that I get my fair share of disappointments. So, Mm, well, it's looking promising, isn't it? Oh, also, what I haven't told you, and I do know about this, but only because I read the listing thoroughly, this will have a, um, a European plug on, a two-pin plug. So this is not officially a UK version. And I don't remember having a booklet this thick in the UK one. It's still got Hoover... Oh, it's a different address in Tunbridge Wells to send off for a guarantee. But this has got uh, lots of different languages in showing you how to operate the brush vac. I think belts are a bit hard to get hold of as well. There may be another belt. Maybe the Dirt Devil Handy belt will fit this. So there's the instructions. So that looks new. That's good. And here's the cleaner. Oh, it's a little bit it's a little bit scuffed but yeah I would say I would say that that's new wouldn't you hmm oh it's got a uh, little cable tie so here's the problem a two pin plug there's also something else in the box get it out we have the clip-on dusting brush which I believe do we clip do we put it onto the back it's so long since I've had to plow oh, no, I think you attach it to the front first I'm not sure yes I think you do or do you oh no you don't you attach it to the back first Oh, I'll have to check the instructions. It's Oh, is that on? Oh, yes. I was expecting it to click. So there we can have suction only. I suppose you could do your curtains with it, with the brush or a bit of dusting, lampshades. But the main benefit of the brush rack is, of course, the rotating brush or revolving brushes, as it says, on the front. And these are, li these are beasts. These are little beasts. I really liked mine when I had one from brand new. A little grey one. I also had this from brand new. But now I've got another one from brand new, I hope. Well, it is, it seems to be. But we have a problem here, folks. Because I cannot shove this two-pin socket into uh, my three-pin plug. Or should I say, I can't fit this two-pin plug into my three pin socket. That's what I meant to say, folks. And I can't edit that bit out now, so you, I'm a fool. I'm a fool, but I know it. So I've got two options here, folks. I can use this adapter. Well, I've got three options. <laughs> I can use this adapter and plug in the two pin plug. And it's now 
a three pin plug. But I won't use that option, I don't think, for this because I do have this plug, which is about the same size as a UK plug. Is it open? I've got a screwdriver. I ha I'm organized enough to have a screwdriver. I'm going to use this option. So with this, I can insert this two pin plug into here and it doesn't matter which way it goes. Ah, oh, now it's a bit, the pins are a little bit bent. No jokes, please. Um, oh, it's okay. They've gone in. It's, oh, they haven't. Let me just turn it around. I might have to bend them back a bit with a, a doobry. Ah, yeah. They're not as bendy as the American pins I've noticed on American plugs. They're very bendy. I think that's made contact. So now I can close that, do up the screw, and I should be able to use this. Now when I had mine, I'm sure that the plug legis legislation wasn't in force, because I remember getting this black one and I bought a black coloured plug to fit to it. So I'm pretty sure the UK versions wouldn't have had a plug. So my third option for this would be just to cut off the two pin plug and wire in a UK three pin plug. Okay, I can now plug in this Hoover brush vac and hope it works. Make sure it's in the off position. Okay, warning to any headphone users, adjust your volume now because I believe these are pretty loud. So it seems to work as it should. Of course, I'm going to do a bit of a demo in this video. But we'll have a look around the cleaner in a bit more detail. There's not a lot to show you. There's the slider on off switch here. Obviously, we've got the revolving agitator. The belt is under this removable panel. This panel always reminded me of a Hoover Junior. When I first saw the Hoover brush vac, I can't remember what year it was. It was sometime in the 80s when I got uh, a new Hoover brochure. Um, I always remember thinking, it, it just so reminded me of a Hoover Junior. But unlike a Hoover Junior, this isn't a dirty fan cleaner because a Hoover Junior would have had the, the fan at the front, but the brush vac has the fan at the back. So we can remove the easy empty dirt cup by pressing the little button here. We can take that off and we can see Maybe you'll be able to see, but there is a plastic see-through fan at the back of the machine. So the dirt doesn't actually go through the fan. It bypasses the fan and comes through into the bagless container through this quite narrow gap. So it'll be fairly easy to block that up if you weren't careful. And then it enters the dust cup. There's a little sort of non-return flap there. So in theory, if you had a full container and you put the machine that way up, the dirt should stay inside. So to empty it, you need to remove the washable filter and empty into the bin. And this is the filter, easy to wash. I remember washing my own and it's got a bit inside look. So what you do, I sometimes used to vacuum the filters as well if I didn't want to wash them. But what you'd normally do for a thorough clean you could actually just tap it clean from time to time if you wanted to. But then you'd give that a good rinse. You'd rinse it from the inside, give it a good shake, pop it like that somewhere to dry. And then when it's dry, you'd just shove the excess material inside and you'd pop it back into the dirt cup like so. I'll have, have a look at the brush roll and the belt might as well while I'm here might as well show you everything so to change the belt we just have one screw here and it needs really a Phillips or posi drive type screwdriver I've got a flathead screwdriver so that might work well the flathead screwdriver didn't work folks so I've got the correct screwdriver I think there we go it's best not to use the wrong screwdriver even if it saves you some time to find the right one. There we go, that's removed. And then the base plate comes off. 
and the screw falls off so don't lose it. I'm just seeing if there's a date wheel on this. No. So now we've taken the base plate off we can also take the front panel off like so because that's where the screw goes in like this. This is how it would be sort of like that. So it only needs one screw and both both items come off and then you can see very Hoover Junior-esque isn't it the way that the belt fits on. Shall I turn it on folks? I will. Don't do this at home. <laughs> it somehow seems quieter without all the gubbins. Even quieter without the, uh, you'd think it'd be noisier. These are replaceable, but again, this part is obsolete. I haven't been able to buy any of these for my second-hand Hoover brush vacs. Uh, I did manage to get some belts at one point, but I haven't found any since. So I'll need to try and get some more belts. So once the belt has been replaced, you pop the base plate back. You can see actually on the back of the front panel, there's a little diagram again, <laughs> similar to the Hoover Junior just to show you which way the belt goes on because if you put it on the other way it'll just slip off as soon as you turn the cleaner on. So that's the panel. Yes, so we can now do up the screw. I'll show you the uh, rating plate, the sticker, and then we'll give this a bit of a demo. Okay, so it's Hoover model S1137001, 230 to 240 volts, 50 hertz, 250 watts, and I'm not sure if we can date this from this serial number, but it says 376-496-05-000722053, and this one was made in the People's Republic of China. Well, I just thought to check the instruction book for a date, and the instruction book says 1997. So these ran for quite some years, possibly at least 10 years or more in the UK. Because they were pretty good little machines. So, there we have it. Let's try this Hoover Heavy Duty brush vac out on my plush carpet. Well, yes, no trouble coping with my carpet, although it would take quite a long time if I was to vacuum all my living room using this little machine. But of course, it's not meant for that. It's meant for inside your car. It's meant for your stairs. It's meant for your sofas. It's meant for your footstools, your caravan. Ooh, I've got a caravan. Hmm. I might take this into the... I'm going to, folks. I'm going to take this into the caravan and see if it's... Uh, going to get any deep down dirt out of my sofas in the caravan. That'd be interesting. Let's see if it's picked anything up anyway. I haven't put any dirt down yet. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, missus. Oh, blimey, O'Reilly. Can you see that? I. It's... Well, when did I last do a demo with that coloured stuff in? Oh, this carpet must be... F I kid you not, folks. I ran over this carpet with my SIBO D4 Premium with the power head um, very, very thoroughly and it was picking loads up. I could hear bits going up the pipe even though I couldn't see anything because this carpet's deep and stuff gets lost at the bottom. But this, look, blimey. Wow, and there's this dust on here, look. It's a shame it's not bagged, isn't it? But anyway, can't have everything. It's a great little thing. Right, let's uh, try my footstool, shall we? Won't be much on this. Mm, 
I think it's picked some stuff up. It feels like it's got a good bit of agitation, so let's find something. Lentils might show it. Lentils and sand, perhaps. I'll put some down on this footstool. Well, my caravan's in a bit of a mess at the moment. I've been busy sorting it out. We've just been away in it for four nights to a place called Whitby on the coast. Lots of sand and uh, everything's been washed. Washed these covers that we keep on the sofas. I've washed the cushion covers and uh, quite a lot of sand got underneath the sofas. So I've, I've brought my Sibo in, mains powered one of them. <laughs> and I've been using that to clean so um well i'm going to try all the old hoover brush vac it's a bit windy i'm not sure if you can hear it this is the caravan vacuum that we take with us that i did a recent video of and this was used just to have a quick clean up and to vacuum the bed as well when it was made out into a bed get the dog hairs off you know so it was very useful for that here's the brush roll though on my dyson quite soft wimpy brushes compared to the hoover brushes look at those <laughs> hmm i wonder which one will do a better job well i know this will to be honest this is okay because it's cordless and it's it serves its purpose in the caravan obviously we wouldn't take a vacuum, a mains pad vacuum with us, but I do bring in a mains pad vacuum to give a thorough clean of all the nooks and crannies after we've been away. But we don't want the SIBO today. We want to use the brush vac. Now, of course, we bought this caravan second hand and it's been cleaned a few times. And uh, I've cleaned the sofas. I'm not sure if this is going to get any dirt out, but I've emptied it anyway. I think. Oh, one lentil. I cleaned that, I vacuumed that off and I've emptied it. So we'll just have a go at the sofas and just see. I don't think it's going to get much out to be honest, but you never know. It's going to be very loud. I should have bought my ear defenders. It is very, very loud, this cleaner. Okie dokie, well I've finished cleaning the sofa. Now obviously I've edited that footage, but I can assure you that whatever dust and dirt is inside here has been picked up using this machine off the sofa I'm sitting on. Okay, let's open it up. Pop the cleaner to one side. I don't expect this to be filthy filthy, but ooh. Well, not much heavy dirt so i didn't expect that because it's a sofa it's not like cleaning a carpet oh wow bear in mind i have cleaned recently these sofas and they always have a cover on them as well you never leave them uncovered 
it's a bit of a dirty job this but I've got to show you everything haven't I this filter's going to need vacuuming I might as well use that SIBO that's uh, inside the caravan oh I'm going to lally tap folks Ooh. <coughs> oh dear oh yes <laughs> blimey oh that's somebody else's skin that would be somebody else's skin flakes folks because this is second hand this caravan I don't think that's all mine mine my partner's skin do you so there's all that stuck on there and yeah some fibrous material but all this fine gray looking dust is human skin flakes so there you go an oldie but a goodie the hoover brush rack with easy empty dirt cup what a fabulous little but noisy cleaner this is it's so compact and light very easy to use on the stairs and on your furniture your pet bedding etc absolutely fabulous and I suppose it'll do a very good job of the car mats I'll have to try that I'll have to bring the car mats in one day and give them a good beating with this compact little machine if you've liked this video please give me a thumb up if you didn't like it you can give me a thumbs down but if you did like it and you don't subscribe please subscribe click the bell icon and you'll be notified of all my new uploads so for me and the Hoover brush rack it's goodbye and thanks for watching.